Um, you know, it started as a personal desire to have, um, let me put do not disturb on. It started as, no problem, as um, a, a need for me looking for products uh, all through my teen years, 20s, whatever, realizing that there just weren't products out there. And why were the products that were supposedly for my hair in the back corner of a store? Why did they not look glorious and beautiful? Why were they um, the same products for the last 30, 40, 50 years. Um, why, when I looked on the back of a package, did it say to use a dime size and I had to use half of the bottle? Um, all of the different things that weren't actually meeting me where my hair lived. Um, and when I sort of ventured out into the world, I realized that so many other people, that there was a vast community of curly, coily, and tight textured uh, people out in the world that also were looking for products that had needs that were unmet. Um, and that started my journey. Um, and so it took about 10 years. I think it was a combination of a lot of different things. I think it was a combination of the beauty industry not actually noticing, recognizing the power and the beauty um, and the economic wealth actually that is in this vast community of curly, coily and tight textured hair, basically um, sort of anchored in the black and brown community and black women's hair. Um, also that um, my platform and my career hadn't gotten to a place yet where anything I wanted to do was an open door. Um, and I think our world was actually not, you know, the term black girl magic didn't exist at the time. So the recognition of our importance in the industry of beauty um, wasn't quite there. And I will be very specific to say our beauty, our power, our importance, our wealth, um, the authentic beauty of our hair and how it grows out of our head has always been here. It is a global, um, uh, it is present globally. It is here historically. I think black women and our hair have been at the center of economic, social, cultural, and political um, change and revolutions throughout time. Uh, but the industry was catching up, which I think we find in all industries and particularly right now, there's such a recognition of that. Um, but when Pattern was born about a year ago, um, by the time I got there, after incubating for my 10 years, <laughs> um, I really had a real clear vision um, of what I wanted the company to be and the space that I wanted it to hold as a beauty company that was centered around black beauty, a beauty company that... Um, was also an active space where we could see our authentic beauty um, and also, and most importantly, effective products that actually worked, met us where our hair was and were not toxic.